to put water inside now, right? Yep, put water inside. Hey, wait, you start. Hey, no, you're so bad. Welcome back to another episode of Ebook Cooks. Today I'm not alone anymore. Yes, because I'm here. What's so I'm up? supposed to make you a very special meal. It's a three course luncheon meat meal. Luncheon meat. Hey, what's more luncheon meat? Oh, I do not like luncheon meat. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's mushy, it's, I don't know, the smell, what? it's so weird. Luncheon meat is one of my, one of my most favorite meats. Eh. It's so versatile, it's so easy to cook, and so it's so damn nice. Okay, anyway, mm. so I'm going to cook three meals today. Uh, appetizer, main and dessert. I'm gonna try to make you a convert. Obviously you need help me lah. <laughs> okay. okay, help Obviously you, you need la. help me. Okay. But the taste is you help yourself, okay? Okay, so the first dish that we're gonna do is uh, actually dessert. I know you like your desserts. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this dish will actually be called candied luncheon meat. So it's inspired from candied bacon. I like how it sounds already. Yes, to give it a bit more flavour because candied luncheon meat can be a bit one-dimensional. We're gonna add chocolate mousse to it. The ingredients we need are milk chocolate, Water, black pepper, ham luncheon meat. I see a hand mixed here. Is this another prank? We got hand mixer, you know? Hand mixer is good because you can feel the chocolate. So you can appreciate the hard work that is putting in this chocolate. Don't so. come and hit me with the wabi sabi. <laughs> <laughs> so usually when you mix water and chocolate, it will break. Yeah. But what's special is that we're gonna mix water and chocolate, then we're gonna vigorously whisk it up together. So eventually it emulsify. And what you get is like a nice thick uh, mousse. So you're gonna start by mixing a quarter cup of water with the chocolate. You're gonna put it in the microwave for the chocolate to melt. So you're gonna give it a mix mm -hmm. to sort of melt the chocolate again. You can stop when you can see that it's sufficiently melted, it's no longer solid. Long two already shared this to the bachelor to melt mix instead. There's always a popular saying that say uh, a professional uses the right tool for the right job. So in this case, uh, I think we, we are not professionals here. You see that? <laughs> so I think it's ready to go already. Put it back in the microwave for maybe 10 more seconds. Uh, I think our microwave is quite powerful. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm to make sure that the chocolate is fully melted and then you just want to mix it slightly around until there's a nice smooth glaze over here. Yeah, oh my gosh, it looks like some brownie batter. Okay. So we're going to put this in the fridge, chew up for a bit. Alright, so now we're going to prepare our candied luncheon meat. So we're using the black pepper ham luncheon meat from Highway. All right, so ham luncheon meat actually has a higher meat content than regular luncheon meat. At the same time, they're going to use uh, the meat from the ham part of the pork, the leg part. Lah. So it's a more premium <laughs> meat as well. The taste is a bit different. The texture is a bit different as well also. So maybe you might like it lah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And maybe. also, um, Highway, they use a lot of different kind of flavours. So they have black pepper, spicy, and your favourite, mala. Which I'm the most excited for later. So black pepper is a good mix with our chocolate because it's a bit spicy. So we're gonna start by cutting the luncheon meat into uh, long strips. And just looking at the core section over here, you can see like bits and pieces of ham over here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So it's more, they give a different kind of texture to it. I'm gonna need your help to coat the luncheon meat in this brown sugar over here. So this brown sugar is gonna caramelize and it's gonna give the luncheon meat a bit of crispiness. So we're gonna put it inside an oven that's already preheated for 160 degrees for 40 minutes. Okay, so it has been 45 minutes, right? Yeah. And now the step we're gonna do is add the cold water into a batter. Yes, whisk it this again? time you got this a whisk. You need to go and... I did a lot of down now that day. <laughs> Super, I don't trust you eh. What's this? I know it might look like an ugly mess down here right? Like, but like a lot of things in life, you just need to be patient. And just keep chipping at it. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, so you can see now the chocolate looks good eh? It's nice and smooth. So we're just gonna transfer it over to a nice dipping bowl over here. Can you try? Mmm! <laughs> It's nicer! It's just melted chocolate and water. Yeah, but but of course, all your technique, all your hard work. It's melted chocolate, water, and your hard work. Okay, it's done, it's done, let's get it, let's get it out. Wow. Wow, I can hear the sizzle. Eh. Sizzle, sizzle. So, you notice when the luncheon meat is coming out, it might look a bit uh, limp and or soggy. But then as it cools down, the sugar will start to harden. So, it'll be nice and uh, slightly crispy later on. So, the dessert is done now. Uh, we need some time for the candied luncheon meat to harden for a bit. So, we're gonna work on our second dish, which is our main course. So, it's gonna be rice, uh, scrambled eggs, and luncheon meat. The ingredients we need are butter, egg, spicy ham luncheon meat, and white rice. So we have our eggs over here, and the butter over here, and lastly we have salt. So you notice that we don't season the eggs uh, with the salt beforehand. If not, you just draw out the moisture, and you just break everything up. So give it a nice one last mix. The technique for fluffy scrambled eggs is just to let it sit 
as it cooks, all you have to do is do sweeping motions around the edges of the scrambled egg to retain all these nice large curds so you can see that there are some nice ridges over here. You need to work quite quickly so because you might notice that the scrambled eggs, they cook really really fast. Now the mains, I'm going to pair the scrambled eggs with um, spicy ham luncheon meat as well. So now here there's this sticker that says, wow spicy, shook xia. Okay, Kiara, so I need your help to open and cut this. Okay. So the thing I like about luncheon meat is so versatile. You can cut it into strips like you did for the dessert, or you can cut it into like really thick chunks and so. So for today, we're going to cut into large chunks to large accompany the rice. Okay. So we're just going to sear it on uh, all four sides, give it a nice golden brown colour, then we can bake together the scrambled eggs already. Nice. So we're going to go on uh, around medium-high heat, so that there's a nice colour. So if you go too low, then the luncheon meat will absorb all the oil, so it'll mm. be very soggy. Okay, so now we have our eggs and we have our luncheon meat. We're ready to plate it. So it's gonna be very simple. We're just gonna combine both of them together. So we're gonna leave the other side for our luncheon meat. If you throw in like a bit of vegetables on a side or a salad, I, I think it can be like a well-balanced diet. Okay, then we're gonna finish off with some black pepper. So we're gonna do our appetizers now. We're gonna do a potato crepe with mala luncheon meat. Mm. Creme fresh mm. and dill. Mm. So the reason why I choose mala luncheon meat and potatoes is because it's a very classic combination. So I thought it'd be good to impress you with. I don't like crunchy potatoes. This is not very crunchy, the fluffy kind. The ingredients are potato, butter, flour, egg, milk, creme fresh, and dill. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our potato crepes. Mm -hmm. So we're simply just making mashed potatoes and adding a flour to it. So potato comes in all shapes and sizes. So although for this recipe, I say use two potatoes, but you know, sometimes you can get big potatoes, you can get small potatoes. So for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna use two cups of potatoes. So which is around two potatoes. Yeah. This one looks like a, a dad and a kid. Yeah, like a son and father. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cute, son. Huh? Why you want to kill the kid? <laughs> <laughs> So now we're just gonna make our potato uh, crepes. It's sort of like a nice pancake batter, the consistency we're looking for. We're gonna egg. crack one egg. Wow, impressive. Check for shells if there's any. None. You want to season? Just you season ah. Anything ah? Just to go by eye lah. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna give it a light blitz with the hand blender Make sure that everything is a nice smooth paste Okay, so now that we've prepared the batter already We're gonna cook it and make it into nice small little crepes So you can eat it like So we're gonna pour our oil into the hot pan We're gonna add a tiny little droplet of batter And try to let the weight of the batter fall into the pan So that it stays nice and circular So when it's done, we're gonna leave it to cool on the wire rack so it doesn't turn too soggy. So we have our mala ham luncheon meat over here. And no, there are many ways to cut luncheon meat. Now, so now we notice that we cut it in uh, long strips, then we cut it in cubes. cubes. Right, so this time we are going to cut it. Circle! <laughs> circle your face, uh, circle. <laughs> we're going to cut it in really thin slices so as you cook, the luncheon meat will be extra crispy. Okay, so now we're just going to cook the mala luncheon meat. Similar to the cute one, mm -hmm. we're just going to give it a nice sear on both sides so that it's nice and crispy. And so it will go very nicely with our potato pancakes over here. How come today got no vegetables? Vegetable? Got out the herb that you eat. <laughs> okay, finally you are ready to plate our appetizer. It looks atas. So we do food, you, you do one, I do one. Okay, so now we have our three dishes. We have our appetizer, the main and the desserts. So I'm ready to convince you. I must say, it looks fantastic already. Good yes. job, so far. Good job you also, you did most of the work as well. So. Yeah, shall we go taste? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Bring to the studio. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Taste Testers. Today, we'll be trying... Luncheon meat! Wow! Yes! So I hope that the appetizer, main and dessert will convince you that luncheon meat is nice tasting. Let's Which try. one should we start first? Okay, so we're gonna start with the appetizer. This is our potato crepes with mala ham luncheon meat, a dollop of creme fresh, and a touch of dill. I mean, with this kind of presentation, right, I wouldn't think that you use luncheon meat. It probably looks like some carrot, puree, something. <laughs> okay, I do not smell the mala, right. but I see the mala. Mm, and I see bits of ham. Wait, is it one mouth? Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> what? Sorry? Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. What whole mouth for? The reason why I don't like luncheon meat is because I don't like the mushy texture. But when you slice it that thinly and then you crisp it up on a pan, it loses that mushy texture that I don't like. So I'll say, mmm. 
This is a pass. But I wish the mala taste was stronger. <laughs> What is stronger? Wow, it's damn intense for me already. Huh? Yeah. So that's why I put the creme fresh. So I want to tone down the mala. I just bit into a charred piece of luncheon meat and I love it. Eh. Right? Wow. The taste is good. I love it. Uh. Yeah, it's a bit like bacon. Right. Mm, so I think if it was sliced a bit thinner, crisp up a bit more, less of the creme fresh, I'll eat 10 of those in the sitting. Wow. At first when you said you wanted to do a potato crepe, right? I was thinking it looks like a pancake, like why use potato? But after I try it, I'm like, wow, there's a bit of a salty cake to it. Not a dessert pancake. This right. is savory pancake. Next right. one. Over here is the main. It's a very simple but hearty dish. Plain steamed rice that is topped with fluffy scrambled eggs and large cubes of spicy ham luncheon meat. Wow, look at the egg. Okay. I really like the duo of colours. One side is bright, orange, sunny, and the other one is like spicy. Mm. <laughs> it looks spicy. Okay, I got everything on a spoon. Thanks to all the e-book shoots, right? I realised when the packaging says caution, spicy, we need to take it seriously. <laughs> Show them some respect, you're not kidding. Right? It's super spicy. In fact, yeah, it's her lah. Yeah. When this is mala. Yeah. The spice still gets mellowed down from the carbs and like the fluffy scrambled eggs, so I, I think it's a good bowl. Last but not least, the dessert. So this here is a candied luncheon meat with a two-ingredient chocolate mousse. Okay, honestly, when you first said you are mixing luncheon meat with chocolate, I thought you were crazy. Okay. And I was thinking, are you sure you came out with this recipe? I was inspired by actually by uh, candied bacon. So I just followed how they make candied bacon. I made candied luncheon meat. This is also black pepper ham luncheon meat. So I thought the peppery spice going very nicely with the chocolate. Eh, hey, look at the chocolate mousse. I love chocolate. I love milk. Just now I was saying, it's the first time I'm seeing flavoured luncheon meat. I really like this black pepper flavour. I feel like it kind of takes away the processed... Harshness. Uh. Oh, flavour of luncheon meat that I don't like. I think for, for dessert, it's very hard to come out with something that's sweet and savoury. But I think uh, chocolate and pepper spiciness, it's a nice play. So we need the milk chocolate, so it's not very strong. The milkiness sort of goes very nicely with the pepperiness. So I thought it was quite a fun experience. Actually, I, to be honest, I never knew that there were so many different types of flavoured luncheon meat to actually to play with all these flavours and mix it up with normal dishes. I think it's quite fun. So I hope that they impress you. I'm not a luncheon meat convert, but I admit I did enjoy the dishes today. So yeah, I think uh, it's nice that you like the extra crispy style luncheon meat. Uh, I think the nice thing about luncheon meat is that there's so many different ways to cook it. You can mm. fry, steam it, or even put it in the oven. So that's the beauty of luncheon meat. Lah. Thank you to Hot Sing Food for sending us their high waist ham luncheon meat range. Yeah, five unique flavours to choose from. And if you want to get your hands on them, check out the link in the description box down below. It's available in major supermarkets as well as priceclub.com.sg. Thank you for watching the episode of Evo Cooks. If you like this video, don't forget to check out other videos over there. And remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye!